Right, so question seven, uh, Junior Cert Maths 2023, higher level. Uh, a, B, and C, and D are four points in the coordinate plane. The points A and B are shown, plot, and label points C and D on the same diagram. So that's part one, so let's do that. So C is eight comma four, so that's eight on the x-axis and four up. Okay, so that is C. D is 3 on the x-axis and 6 up, which is there. So that is point D. Uh, write the coordinates of the points A and B in the spaces below. So A and B. So A is 1 on the x and 1 on the y. B is... My, um, 6 on the x and minus 1 on the y and the other two are already filled in okay so that's the first part part b pauline wants to prove that a b c is actually a square now if i drew if i draw lines here i probably will see that if it is a square that is you could do this with a ruler i've done this pretty badly but you could kind of get an intuition that it probably is a square just looking at it there uh, now to, to prove it okay so Paulina part B Paulina wants to prove that ABC is actually a square answer the next two parts to show that it is a square so show that the length of AB is equal to BC right so let's have a look so the length of AB is equal to BC if we prove that then and these are right angles then we know that um that it is a square so the first part is to prove a b is equal to c so we go to the log tables and we get the formula for the length of the the line which is this one here okay page 18. so i'll just write that here so i'll have x 2 minus x 1 2b squared plus y2 minus y1 to be squared um, and now I need to do that for a b first of all so I'll say x1 y1 x2 y2 so this is going to be 6 minus 1 to be squared plus um, minus 1 minus 1 to be squared so that's going to give me the root of 5 squared plus minus 2 to be squared which will give me 25 plus 4 root 29 so let's see if we get the same answer for this one so this one, I will set this to be x1, y1 this time. Uh, okay, so x2 is 6 minus 1 to be squared. Plus uh, y2 is minus y. Sorry, what did I do wrong there? That should be 6 minus 8. And this is going to be minus 1 minus 4 to be squared, which will give me minus 2 squared plus minus 5 squared, which will give me 4 plus 5, 25 is also root 29. So we've proved that part okay the second part without measuring the uh, diagram show that a b is perpendicular to b c so we need to get the slope of both of those lines to see if they're perpendicular okay again the log tables that has the slope formula so m is equal to y2 over y1 all over x2 minus x1 Uh, okay so let's do it so 
So slope of AB first. Uh, so AB, we're going to say minus 1, minus 1. And we're going to say X, sorry. X2 is a 6, minus 1. Okay, so that's going to give me minus uh, 2. That's minus 2 on top, all over 5. Slope of BC then is minus 1, minus 4. And this is 8, sorry, 6, minus 8. So that's going to give me minus 5 all over minus 2. Which is actually 5 over 2. <coughs> okay. Uh, so that is the reciprocal of that. So AB is perpendicular to BC. Okay, so you've proved it. So you flip it over and change the sign. And if that's the case, then they are perpendicular. Part C. Chiron makes the following statement. Every parallelogram is a square. Is this true or false? Well, the opposite is true. Every square is a parallelogram because the angles, uh, the opposite angles are the same and the opposite sides uh, lengths are the same, but this is not true, so that's false. Some parallelograms have different side lengths, i.e. all four are not the same. Uh, write down the converse of Chiron's statement. Now, this is true. Every square is a parallelogram. Now, that is correct. And that's it for, part se for question seven.